Hey guys, um, this is part three of the tutorial on making a rig and making a Minecraft scene and an animation. So, now today we'll be um, putting the rig back together. So uh, we're in user ortho right now, so just press 1 to go into front ortho. And uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to go into object mode. So we're in object mode right now, and then go into edit mode with the mesh selected first in object mode. Okay, so... And then this box will reappear here, so we want to check this so that we can get the back of it. As you can see, this box makes you able to see through and select other faces on the other side that you can't usually select. So, with that selected, we're just going to press B, and with the snap on, we need to turn the magnet back on. We'll put it right back here, and then do the same thing. Um, there we go. Shouldn't take too long. It's just really easy to do. You can even do this. Oh, wait, I didn't select all of it. Just uh, press G to grab it. Since you're snapping to the grid, it's really, really easy to do. And then the head, which is the last part. And there we go. The mesh is, uh, well, once we go into object mode, because the, the mesh is binded to the armature, it's pretty screwed up. So, uh, now select go select the armature and we're in pose mode so we want to go in edit mode like that and then we'll just use box select to select it and we've still got it, the snap on so this should be pretty easy whoops there we go and then the legs whoops what did I do okay I just recentered my cursor grab whoops box select grab and then grab there we go so we have a complete armature I'm just gonna get out of user ortho so we're in perspective a more realistic look at things and I'm just gonna um, go into pose mode and at last check if everything works so we're gonna grab the master bone and as you can see it grabs the whole mesh okay um we're gonna grab the arm oh we're still in snap mode so let's there we go this is perfect yep that works they should all work and then the head you can just grab this rotate this do anything you want the legs yep the legs work and then the pointers they all work I I already know all of this works now, so um, this is what it should look like, and now we're gonna go on to facial expressions. So, if you select the um, mesh and then go into edit mode, uh, as you can see, we've got that little box thing on, so we want to deselect that so we don't see the back of him. And we're actually gonna select the armature again so we can uh, deselect X-ray because it's kind of annoying when you're doing facial expressions. Um, so, there we go. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using something called Shape Keys. We've already got it here uh, in the Object Data Header tab. But it won't let us add any in Edit Mode, so we need to first add some in Object Mode. So, in Object Mode, just go ahead, add the basis. You don't do anything to this. The Key 1, Key 2, Key 3. I'm just going to add three keys. Alright, so, um... Now there's a reason why we subdivided uh, everything three times, and that's because we can take the, like this whole square. It may not look like it because the texture is blurry in um, viewport shading, but um, this whole square is just pure black. This one's pure skin color, skin color. Anyway, so as you can see, if we pull it back, it doesn't do what we want it. It just creates a huge gash in the the head. So what we want to do is I'm gonna take both eyes and then press extrude and extrude them just about that much alright except um, okay we've selected key three and we actually extruded them we don't want that to happen we we need to select basic basis so that nothing happens I'll show you why in a second let's extrude this again whoops we're in key three extrude alright and there we go I'm just going to create the the basis of this. Alright, so I'm going to extrude this. 
Uh, I'm going to extrude it just to here so that we can have the lip. And then extrude it again so that we have like a little cut there. And I'm going to make this custom to my character mesh. So I'm going to... There we go. I'm going to select around the tongue. Believe it or not, there is a tongue there. And I'm going to extrude it. And then I'm going to rotate on the x-axis so I can just give it like maybe a little bit more depth I'm gonna push the tongue back just a little bit more whoops it, oh gosh what am I doing does this work no okay it's fine so that's that's what it looks like let's press F12 and you, as you can see we've got an easy indent so let's just go press 0 for the camera and uh, I'm gonna zoom this up closer so grab and then Y grab Y and now we can easily see that we've got it indented but now we can actually we need to do some more UV editing because um, right here at the bottom we've got the tongue kind of still there here I'll show you what I mean uh, once we do shape keys now so let's go click the mesh and go into edit mode alright so this is it normal so like uh, with the basic key basis key selected do whatever you want to do like extrude it alright after you've done that um, go click key one and everything goes back to normal uh, what the heck so if we click the basis key okay here's what we want to do now because I, I kinda screwed up uh, but to fix this let's go out of edit mode and keep the basis key but delete all of the other keys and then add new keys so I'm gonna add three keys because I only need three keys I, I might not use one of them but it's all up to you so as you can see right here would be the lip so I'm gonna grab this whoops I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna press extrude to bring it up and it's gonna be right about here and then this bit's gonna be the top bit will extrude to about let extrude right about here and there we go there's my face so on key 3 so I'm out of edit mode now and if I go key 3 I can change the value and as you can see it will follow so like at maximum and here's where we have something wrong at maximum this is completely closed but this is where we now need to UV edit so we need to pull out a new window like we did last time to UV edit uh, let's just go back into the 3D mode for this one and change this one to we're already in UV edit so click this little icon here icon I mean and all me skin epic sauce which is what I named it alright so just go back into edit mode and um, as you can see we've selected uh, this bit here and um, it's all right down here so let's just grab this whoops make sure all, all of it's selected with box select we can grab it um, let's just put it here just because we can and then, then if we render this that's what it'll look like because it's on that skin color alright um, so then okay we've got these reversed now I'm gonna there we go alright so that's that's my facial expressions also I'm going to make I'm gonna do one for his eyes so I'm gonna select key 2 now in object mode then go into edit mode then I'm going to click this bit I don't want my character to blink but if you want to do that just do the same thing I did with the mouth so I'm gonna select this I'm gonna have an angry and sad kind of face with the eyebrows so this is gonna be my eyebrows I'm gonna twist it like this bring it down like this and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other so like pretend uh, the value that you're trying to create is the maximum here so now if we go set the value in key 2 to 1 we have an angry face and if we render it it looks pretty cool and then key 1 I'm going to I'm actually gonna go set this to 0 
and I'm going to select key one and then after that I'm going to go back into edit mode and um, I'm going to create whoops a sad face so rotate and then Y bring it like this and then do the same with the other eye if I can select it I'm going to zoom in a little bit more alright there we go R Y bring it like this bring it down and there we go so now if we go into object mode it returns to normal I still have the value of this like there okay and then key one will be the sad eyes right so if we render this that's what it looks like uh, so now we can name these and I'm gonna s name this sad sad and then key two is mad and then key three is oh I almost said happy but it's actually the mouth um and I'm gonna do one last key I knew I was going to ah uh, yes a smile I'm not gonna do a frown just because I can just just have the mouth open and just have that the sad eyes on as like a frown so uh, I'm gonna add like from the basis always click the basics basis first and then add the new key and this one will be okay wait let me find sad and change the val the value all the way down there we go so key four will be happy and that will be for the mouth and so if we go here as we can see the mouth is already up um so i'm going to make i'm going to change the lip here and i'm going to grab it and then rotate like that size it up maybe rotate like that size it up <laughs> that looks like a pretty cool happy face all right and then so we change the volume all the way up the value all the way up <laughs> and that's a pretty cool happy face but um it actually like it's actually kind of gradual which I might run into a problem with but I think it's pretty fine so that's the end of uh, part three I'm pretty sure um, the next part I'll be let's see I'll be uh, teaching you how to import any minecraft scene from your minecraft world and um, combine your armature and the world together. So, uh, see you guys in the next.